Hello guys, and welcome back. This is my boy Gadam Sling. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Welcome to another crazy video. And uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, we have so much to discuss. But first, I want to ask this question. Let us imagine someone decided to offer you money, like 30 million naira, and that's about a 30 to 40,000 US dollars. No? Yeah, about 40,000 US dollars. That he will rather give you 40,000 US dollars or have a meeting with Whiskey Bono Boy, Whiskey Bono Boy David and Olamide. Whiskey Bono Boy David and Olamide. You have a one meeting with them or you take 40,000 US dollars. Forty thousand US dollars equivalent to thirty million naira, or you take thirty million naira. Which one will you pick? So, guys, uh, please kindly leave a comment below. And then again, uh, yesterday we discussed about BBL. There's a pandemic. Someone said there is a BBL pandemic amongst women living on the highland in Lagos. Same strong nyash, same mimini chin chin shaped nyash, same tiny leg. They all come out looking like a scar, scare cow, and can swear it from the same doctor who probably hates women and in, is on a revenge mission. Yesterday, of course, I talked about Tokimakiwa. Don't you think eh, mm, it's about time? Because I don't understand how can a well successful entertainer as a woman coming from Nigeria in outside country they have their own life to live. So US and Hollywood, they have they have been doing it. So I don't understand how a successful woman like Nancy Simi Toki Makiwa Coco. There are many, almost all of them don't do nyash. How can a well successful woman, very successful woman in the Nigerian entertainment industry, well loved by many, and the next thing she wants to do is BBL? Have you ever thought about what is the reason why that woman wants to do BBL? You have money, you have the fame, people like you, you can sell products. But why do BBL? And you go do BBL, BBL do the chick. You not just me, me. You have that two bones, me they just put for one side like this. That took him back in one year and share me. Honestly, I've never seen so before in my life. The next person that I think might be like that is a Nasir Sime. There's nothing, there's nothing, there is nothing more beautiful than natural. So, I think uh, we will start going to, going for Le Pachande, like Peace Square Okoye, who went for Le Pachande. We we'll start going for Le Pachande. However, they get the same juice. There's nothing special again. Nigeria women want the blue bumble. So, may they carry on. Hollywood, they try to remove their silicone. Now, now Nigeria starts their own. <laughs> then, uh, Sabinus is currently in big trouble. This guy went to Port Harcourt uh, to do a show, and uh, in that show, they're making fun of uh, APC presidential candidates. And now people are hungry over this. But when Nigeria we are doing this is God do joke, nobody shadow. People are hungry about Sabinus making fun of an APC presidential candidate Tinubu. But when Nigerians were doing this, God do doing from Jonathan Tan, nobody shadow. It's normal. It's normal in Nigerian society. 
is normal. Do you love me? Do you love? <laughs> well, uh, let me play the video, guys. <laughs> Let me talk to the people of Nigeria, myself. <laughs> A lot of you think I want to fall. No. <laughs> I am only showing you the situation of the country. The past government. They spend more than sixteen billion dollars. They forget that transmission line is a super highway. They couldn't even make a down payment for the roasted corn. Um, well, uh, of course, go and check uh, the internet, of course, you're going to see a lot of other videos. But Sabino is now mainly, really criticized by this. Like, how can a public figure like Sabino's, a comedian like Sabino's, making fun of ABC presidential candidate? Don't you know it's going to take a lot of food from your mouth? That is for those entertainers who depend on politicians. You can turn that one to Nollywood actors. Not even all Nollywood actors. To just about me Nollywood actors. Not to people who are now really into internet to make money. They are making money from themselves, not from a political uh, aff affiliation. Tell that to about me Yoruba music, uh, movies, stars. Tell that to them. I think they will, will do everything with their power to please politicians. This is entertainment, pure entertainment. Well, let me know exactly how you feel about that. And the one person who has something to say about this is uh, none other than Daniel Riga. Of course, we trust Daniel Riga. Daniel Riga must talk. If Daniel Reagan don't talk, you know something is wrong. So we are expecting him to say something. And he said something. He said, Sabino is being praised by obedient for mimicking Tinubu. But the same people insulted Akbororo for cracking jokes at Peter OBS expenses. APC supporters love them. Now they are bitter. It goes to show you the high level of hypocrisy in Nigeria. Keep deceiving yourself. <laughs> that is coming from uh, 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 Daniel Riga. Well, let me know, guys. They cannot cancel Sabinus now. Why do you guys want to cancel Sabinus? Sabinus uh, is doing a job. He's the best to me, sketch maker currently. For me, to me now, he's the best. So uh, let's move past that and uh, let's talk about uh, whiskey. Whiskey made a promise the other day, of course, you know. He said that uh, this should be the last time he will be performing in Lagos for any amount. He said so yesterday and surprisingly, before I play you that video, you know, he met up with Asaka. He supported Asaka at the show and Asaka supported him back. And then they met, they had a discussion on it, which was beautiful. But the thing is that, you know that Machala song, Machala, Manchala, Manchala, well, the real owner of that song, who is uh, Kataife, who has been uh, idolizing Whiskey for a long time, apparently, Whiskey never invited him to that show. But Whiskey invited the singer, Derry Tega to perform that song much alive. Whiskey never really did that by uh, inviting Kataife and Beritena to perform the song together. Whiskey only acknowledged the singer Beritena. But the owner of the song that is uh, 
match uh, Kataife, basically that the idol like that whiskey for a long time now. They use whiskey in the cash through scenes. Whiskey no send that. Now people are laughing at uh, Kataife. Just maybe whiskey do not give a damn about the business part of music. If you know Sabi Singh, you know Sabi Singh, don't come and be chopping money on top of people else because you have the means to do that. Maybe that's the kind of way whiskey think. And that is kind of way a lot of musicians think as well. Musicians do not like, it's rare to see a musician liking a music businessman. Business person is rare. Because they feel like you don't know, you cannot sing and yet you are doing business with our music. So I don't blame whiskey for that. But the only thing I blame Whiskey for is the, I feel like it's a lie. Saying that he will never perform again. This is really the last time he is uh, charging, any, charging any fan to see him in Lagos. Which is good, though, but let's think about it like this. You think, say, Whiskey no one charge fans to see him for Lagos. Open ticket. Don't you think there will be no uh, stadium that will contain fans? There will be no stadium that will contain fans in Nigeria. There will be stampede and people will apparently just lost their life. If we see the bar host a free concert now, so I think his management will tell him, see, that promises you made there uh, and we don't think it's going to work. It won't work. So Whiskey will revert that promise. There's 60, no, there's 80% chances that Whiskey will revert that promise. And there's 20% chance that Whiskey will stay true to his promise and actually perform it. Pa perform, not that, okay, he won't perform again. And actually perform for free. So guys, uh, well, however, check out the video of him making that promises. I need you guys pay to watch me for free. I'm gonna make a promise tonight. This is the last time you're ever gonna.